happening. Thank you. I have uh, 10 minutes to be with you today. And in that 10 minutes, we're going to talk about history, culture, and perception. Three small ideas. <laughs> My job is to put it on the table. Your job is to crack it open. The lens I'm going to ask you to think about these three ideas, history, culture, and perception, the lens is what we might think of as indigenous innovation. We used to have lots of fun in Savannah back in the 60s and the 70s and even the 80s. We still do, but it's different now. Back then, downtown had more soul, less freaking cars. We weren't so sophisticated, but we were plenty marinated, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and if you know what I mean, then I'll bet you do, you super fly, you. Back then, Savannah wasn't so cool as it is now, but bathtubs were filled with hot women, chicks. Oh, let go of your PC and stay here with me. Hot women, chicks, drinking cold beer. This foxy lady, painted by Mr. Jimmy Williams, lived on the corner of Jefferson and Anderson Streets, just blocks from here. That is, until this cool, coy, creamy brown, airbrushed baby doll showed up to take over the corner from Miss Foxy. <laughs> if we marched over there now to Jefferson and Anderson Street, we would be overcome. We shall overcome to see her vamping as the cars shoot by. <laughs> but if you have blood in your veins, these lips are worth slamming on the brakes and backing up for. Pulling out your M-I-N-O-L-T-A Minolta with that phallic, I mean telescopic lens <laughs> that lends itself to seeing things a little closer, seeing things that most everybody's missing and some officials are even dissing. But hey, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach and moving down Montgomery Street, we see food. I mean, we see seafood, colored, so bold and bright that you think it's hot and steamy, but that can't be. It's just a freaking wall, man. <laughs> but man, oh man, I love the way my man, my man, the sand man, the good man, Mr. Leonard Miller, yes, that man, the God-loving Jesus Sharon man, pushes that paint up on the wall. This little dockside village overlooks the dusty lane at Montgomery and 35th Street. Hip-hop scallop. <laughs> Oy vey, oyster. <laughs> you little devil. Crab. <laughs> Whiting fish, smoke neck bone, smoke Joe Lewis, pork neck bone, pigtail, pig feet, pork chop, smoked turkey wing, beef liver, ground beef, and sausage patty, whole chicken leg and quarter chicken wing, oxtail, frozen vegetable, cut and whole okra, mixed vegetable, black eyed peas, and baby lima beans. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. A.B. Futch ran their corner store that you just saw for decades, not days, at MLK and 35th Street. Oh, sandwich board, oh, sandwich board, you survived until the 90s, standing your ground. Don't let it be so, not another fucking latte bar. <laughs> oh, no, not yet. Oh, no, Mr. Bill Doors, don't let it happen. Back behind Beaver's Barbershop, Haley Roy, how you doing after that big bad heart attack? Back behind Beaver's Barbershop, the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard and 42nd, Holy Tabernacle Bookstore and Gifts. This is where the Euphrates meets paying the freight. <laughs> Culture, commerce, capitalism collide right around the corner from Beaver's Barbershop, right here in little old Savannah. Every day, Yahweh, thank God, there are people, capable people, talented people. Agreeable is my friend, the photographer, Susan Earle. 
she goes with me on Sunday, early Sunday morning, zooming in and zooming out to discover and uncover jewels like this. Is there an Egyptologist in the house? Every customer will be treated with dignity and respect. I wonder why these words, I wonder why these words wound up on this Wheaton Street wall. Dignity and respect. I wonder why Jimmy Williams, born in Savannah, graduate of Beach High School, 1964, Vietnam bound and there beaten down, painted these words, dignity and respect on that Wheaton Street wall. Sitting in his wife's bakery on Eisenhower Drive, just across from the TJ Maxx, Maurice Irving told me about his barber shop. I opened and ran that shop for three years after 15 years of marching in Uncle Sam's army. I put it there to be near, near Blackshear, homes. Kids brought their report cards. Good grades, got little treats. Kids knew that I would come to their school and see them to meet their teacher. So. Ms. O'Hara, how's Antoine doing? Tell him I was here asking about him, hoping for him. This man fixes cars. It's just a garage back behind the Salvation Army. You know, on MLK, just before 52nd Street in the SCAD video barn. You wonder, what are people thinking? Painting all this stuff on their walls. Don't they know nothing about design? Design, D-E. S-I-G-N, design, D-E-S-I-G-N, design. Don't they know nothing about? City of Savannah, sign ordinance, section 8-3111. The city zoning administrator shall determine if a sign negatively impacts the visual character of the surrounding area and the zoning administrator should order that such a sign be removed. Is there a freaking lawyer in the house? <laughs> what happened to free speech? What happened to property rights? What happened to standing up for the little culture, creativity, color, forced to bow and bend again? <laughs> the Hudson's. The Hudson's, three generations strong, grand, dad, and son, have been cutting hair and listening to hopes and dreams right there in their shop and making art, the art of listening, the art of conversation, the art of turning boys to men. But let's not kid ourselves. It's the strong women who trash or treasure, artifact, Art, advertising, who has the right? It's not so black and white, is it? Frogtown, this sign was on the corner of Henry and Montgomery. Frogtown, yep, just behind the Inmark gas station on Martin Luther King Boulevard, before the urban renewal in the lofts of Frogtown. There was stills, moonshine, white lightning. Years ago, Elijah McGraw told me about being a kid using a piece of soft white bread to sop up the moonshine off the streets after the cops had come with their axes. Church parking lot, Wall on Montgomery, just south of Gwinnett Street. Artist unknown to us so far. I was hoping maybe we could uh, sing Amazing Grace together. Are we ready? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Thank you.
Spaceman, Airbrush, Jimmy Williams, Victory Drive between Montgomery and MLK, long gone. Please, let's thank Susan Earle for taking these and hundreds of other photographs. Dr. Robert Batchelor at Georgia Southern for championing and archiving and displaying these images. And Dr. Susan Falls from SCAD for beginning to create some real questions about the future of this kind of visual art within our city. The forces of good were with us. Spidey Man, painter on Victory Drive and MLK. MLK, just south of Anderson Street and Henry Street. Artists unknown to us. Jack Lee, friend and photographer, saw the world in black and white, and he found contrast. Jack once told me that an artist is anyone who has to say what they have inside. Artist unknown. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Well, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing and spending a little time with me today to think about this place we call Savannah. I hope you'll uh, become a placist. We have plenty of racists here, but I'm inviting you to become a placist. And a placist is somebody who cares about our place, cares about all of our people, and cares about the possibility 